If you've seen our last couple ride reviews over on YouTube, you probably noticed we changed our testing grounds and definitely one of the best decisions we ever made. We used to test in Johnson Valley and I think you guys can tell where we're testing now, but there are a bunch of prefab, pre-made obstacles that are maintained so that they're the same every time we hit them for consistent and repeatable testing. Not only do we know exactly what we're getting into, but it makes it great for comparisons. So today we're gonna be talking about all the obstacles that we hit in those testing grounds and what they tell us about suspension, how we use them to create our reviews. The first obstacle we hit is a fairly short hill climb, but that thing is pretty steep and the holes in it are pretty big. They also alternate side per side. So they really, really, really test articulation. This is a great way to see how much travel we're gaining with these suspension systems and if we can actually use it. Uh, additionally, it helps us really start to get a feel on how they perform at lower speed events, which is really what the next test is about. After that, we go to an obstacle called the frame twister, which makes it seem like another articulation test, but it really is actually something that mimics what we think the rutted out and nasty trails you guys mostly be hitting. There's some water and there's some holes because of it, some chunky rocks and stuff like that. So it really gives us a feel for what the suspension does in the environments we think you guys will be hitting when you're actually running the trails. After that, we take it down to the main road, which is fairly well graded and maintained, but still pretty darn washboardy and a little chopped up. We take the vehicles at varying speeds to see what the happy point of the suspension is in terms of how fast you're driving. There are a lot of shocks that really can be a little firm at lower speeds and soften up at higher speeds and a lot of shocks, well, that are exactly the opposite. You guys know how fast you wanna go down a dirt road, so this is a real tell if a shock is right for you. Once we find the happy pace of a set of shocks is when we go to find their limits. We run over to a whoop section that is fairly mild, but still has more than enough in it to find the limits of most of the suspension systems we test. Whoops aren't called whoops because you're always expecting them. So we need to know that if you are traveling at the speeds that the shocks are happiest at, that they can actually handle that. And we also take it as an opportunity to find the absolute limit if well, they can take more than the speeds we hit them at. Now your suspension doesn't just have to deal with big successive hits when you're driving at speed down a dirt road. You also got to make a turn from time to time. So once we've determined the happy pace for a set of shocks, we take it over to our little right left chicane to see if they can make that corner. And if that corner is too much for the grip level that is available, how does it handle on the limit? You want to know that if you have to huck it into a corner that you know what it's going to do, it's not going to plow straight or swap ends on you. 